Hey everybody, this is Ashu here and uh, in this video I will be talking about uh, how our ego feeds on our insecurities and fears and uh, the path to true peace and happiness lies only when we learn to cross over uh, this egoic needs. Only then we can step into the higher realm or raise our vibrational frequency and begin to understand what it feels like to step into a wiser and higher brain where we can make uh, choices that are regulated by our higher intelligence that focus more on creating peace, well-being, uh, wellness, and um, energy of unconditional uh, love and light in our lives. So this video is helpful if you are on your spiritual path or if you want to connect with your higher self and want to understand how we as human beings operate through the different layers of our own identifications and how we also have the potentialities, tools and possibilities to create uh, choices which could land us in uh, better dimensions of experiencing life. So when we are operating from ego, what kind of mind chatter is going on? It is all our uh, defensive mind chatter going on that is trying to project the blame or that is trying to uh, feed on the insecurities by separating itself from others. So when we tend to get angry or when we find ourselves having lot, lots of likes and dislikes, for a certain set of people, uh, that is a sure sign that our ego is quite dominant because when we start to work on ourselves, a certain sense of uh, equanimity will come in your behavior. Uh, you may not find yourself disliking people with the same intensity or that much as you would when you were under the uh, control of your egoic mind more because as you begin to cross over and begin to understand your ego better begin to understand your tendencies to think uh, and behave in your daily life if you find yourself getting angry that is a sure sign that your ego is dominant but if you start uh, paying attention to your anger by taking a pause and start becoming more mindful of your anger what are you doing? You are stepping out of that ego identification and connecting with your higher intelligence. That has given you the choice to make a different choice, a healthier choice to watch your anger, to befriend your anger with more compassion and let it um, dissolve. So if you do this repetitively, you will be creating a new neural pathway that is definitely going to serve you in a better way and make your life much more peaceful. It is all about how we react or respond to different situations in our lives. Do we choose our ego choices or do we want to choose our higher mind choices? The higher mind is more operated by wisdom and it takes responsibility for the self, for all the shadow aspects of the self. If I'm angry, if I'm feeling down, if I'm not feeling good, if I'm feeling frustrated, and I know that this is my energy and I am responsible for working with it, no matter what, no matter what. Maybe somebody has done the worst to you, still, it's a part of my system and I have to work with it. So when that sense of leadership or responsibility will be with you, you will be able to cross over the ego identifications to make choices that are emanating from a much healthier space of your ego, which is trying to bring you in communion uh, with your own potential to use your own higher wisdom and start experiencing more peace and start experiencing uh, more love and love for yourself and love for others. Because if you can control your anger, that is a very good sign of loving yourself. 
Wow, congratulations. You have taken a step ahead to love yourself by choosing to watch your anger instead of making somebody a target of your anger. It's when you're making someone a target of your anger. First of all, you yourself are the target of that anger because your body has set itself into a mobilization mode. It is your sympathetic mind has all over the place. You are feeling fear somewhere deep in your subconscious mind and anger is just a reaction of that fearful reaction that is happening somewhere even beyond your self-awareness. So when you begin to take charge of your anger, you are loving yourself first. And what you're doing, you are not making others around you the target of that anger. So you're loving, sending that love vibration uh, to the people around you. You're not making them the target of your anger. So you're doing so much good work. <laughs> Congratulations. You're loving yourself and you're loving others around you by making a very simple choice of anger management. <laughs> and anger management can really lead to a great deal of stress reduction and really raise your vibrational frequency. So anger management is a very good way to raise your vibrational frequency because you're making different choices. You are creating a different neural uh, pathways and you are creating a different neurobiology. So your body is loving you more as you are loving your body more. So you'll create more health, happiness in your life. So anger is one of the indicators of ego identification like anger is something that our ego feeds on <laughs> and from where the anger is coming from a deeper sense of insecurity helplessness and even we are not aware why we're getting angry nobody wants to get angry but still our body reacts because that is how it has learned to protect itself from the dangers so you can take some steps of um watching your anger, creating conscious intention not to get angry and understand that anger is a reaction of our unhealthy ego identification that is thriving on a defense. It is not coming from our healthy ego that wants to create uh, peaceful decisions or choices of life. As simple as that. <laughs> Having the discrimination, that discernment is a great way to move forward on your journey to self-growth. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Don't forget to press that notification bell so that you can get notifications when I upload new videos. Have a great day and stay blessed.